Hello. Um, my name is Gizem Karali, and I'm a professor of mathematics at Pomona College. I'm also one of the two editors of Journal of Humanistic Mathematics, which has been organizing poetry readings at these joint math meetings for the last decade or so. This year's reading was yesterday. <laughs> so if you missed it, uh, well, there is always next year. Yeah. I'm here today as one of the three judges for the American Mathematical Society's Math Poetry Contest for students. The other two judges were Professor Larry Lesser, who's a statistician and a poet and songwriter from the University of Texas El Paso. Uh, you can find his YouTube videos where he sings some of his songs, mathematical, pretty cool, fun. <laughs> um, uh, and Professor Joanne Grauney, who's a retired mathematician and a very not retired poet. Uh, you may know of her amazing Math Poetry Intersections blog, https slash blah, 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 poetry with mathematics dot blogspot dot com. And if you didn't know of this blog yet, now you know, okay? Uh, anyway, so this contest started last year in Baltimore, Maryland, when po student poets from all over uh, Maryland were invited to submit poetry. This year, when the joint meetings uh, were coming to, the, to Denver, the contest participants also came from all around Colorado. So today, it's my honor to introduce the winners uh, of the 2020 AMS Math Poetry Contest. I will call all three of them at the same time, and they'll hopefully join us here and read their poems for us. Uh, one of them is familiar to you already. Um, so I'll start with the youngest of them. Uh, at the middle school level, the winner is Sabrina Little from Macintosh Ac Academy, Boulder, with a poem uh, titled Outlier. At the high school level, the winner is Austin Mazenko from Cherry Creek High School with a poem titled The Number One. You might have seen him recently. And at the college level, the winner is Emily Lin from Colorado Christian University with a poem titled X squared plus Y squared equals one life. Let's congratulate these three young math poets. Okay, so this is my poem, Outlier. Um, the slick pen gr glides across paper, precisely scraping the ruler's edge, marking a line beside many lonesome dots, a line of best fit as snug as a sweater. The slope is a mere fraction, but the line it fabricated would stretch on, encompassing an infinite amount of graph paper. As the line traveled, it would pass by many data points, and the wispy voices of the outliers would be heard on the wind, calling to the line from worlds away, asking it to contort, to come and gather the lonely dots and hold them shaking in its tepid arms. But the line never does. Instead, it continues on without a sideways glance, forever the same slope, forever the same straight line. All right, the number one. Hatred of numbers, a cardinal sin, merely encumbers, hides beauty within mathematics. In abelian groups, numbers commute. Their supremacy and distance from zero, absolute. So hear me out from the mathematical exhorter, urging pattern discovery amidst chaos and order. From noise, find the signal, elucidate nice behavior. Discover Zeta's zeros and be number theory's savior. Appreciate numbers' divine perpetuity, perceiving their secrets with mathy acuity. In logic, truth, and in algebra, lee, in numbers, gold, the irrational fee. Six is perfect, pi transcendental, the monsters moonshine and McKay monumental. In our physical world, such numbers abound, bastions of constancy making reasoning sound. Since math fields possess unity and division, it's the numeral lens that ensures us precision. Thank you. So my poem is called x squared plus y squared equals 1, and I'm suggesting that the unit circle equation is equal to the paths of life. So, Ceaseless are the points. Its path does not terminate. Round and round it goes. From the central point, everything else flows. Lo and behold, is it a circle or more enigmatic, like the paths of life? Perhaps both. <laughs> <laughs> 